Hey guys, it's Knothead here to talk about Shaw's this past weekend and some bad news. Um, I'll start with the bad news. It's not really anything big. Um, I was just doing some filming around. I was going to walk around to film everybody and then do some track level footage with my GoPro uh, using my grav grip. But shortly after I started filming, I was going back to what I like to call Shangri-La. They've got They've got, they've got a really nice setup uh, with a couple of 10 by 20 pop-ups that can fit a whole bunch of people. But I was going to go back there and film some of my buddies in their pit area and just kind of kind of talk some bits. And as I was walking around to get to the other side, my grab grip fell apart. And so I was just like, yeah, I'm done. I'm heartbroken. I don't want to break out the camera again. So I got some cool aerial footage. I took my Aton and I flew it above the track. I got some cool aerial footage. Um, I had one point with the Aton, this weird story I'll tell real quick. I had one point with the Aton, I guess radio interference got in the way and it decided it wanted to rehome itself and landed on the front straight. I'm going to leave that bit of the video in where it actually lands on the front straight. I think that's kind of cool. Um, but I got a bunch from the Aton that I need to edit out. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to have everything that I took, but I'm going to leave that in. That was really kind of funny to me. Um, Shaw's though, Shaw's is great. I love Shaw's. I wish I could have gotten more footage of cars on track and just people around and talk to some of the people. Shaw's is great. I love that place. Um, I did okay. Um, I ended up fifth overall in e-buggy, sportsman e-buggy, and I got third in uh, 13.5, which was really cool. And 13.5 was probably my most fun all weekend and probably one of my most fun races because the way Shaw's is right now is I've got two different driver stands, one a bit taller off to the right and kind of quote unquote, the normal one. Um, and for the most part, most of us running, but uh, baby buggy were on the shorter stand and we were just chirping all weekend long. It was great. It was so much fun. Um, 13, five out there is a blast. They have a huge jump, um, which I got some Aton footage over. Um, <laughs> Jody Har was trying to triple that with his baby buggy and came close a couple of times. And there were some people that if he was able to do that in the main, they were just going to stop like you win. <laughs> like how, how else do you do it? Um, but 13, five was a blast. It was great times. Um, e buggy was weird. Um, I had an issue with my rear tower. Um, cause Sean's is a really loose track. So I try to run, I try to run a spot up from the bottom on, on the rear tower of my car, just to get a little bit more mechanical grip there. Um, but I have a weird spot where my rear tower is worn out on that spot on the left side. So for the first two quals, I would reset it. But by the end of the run, it would have dropped back down. Um, I tried everything I could do. Um, I cranked everything way down and it still wasn't holding on. So I ended up jimmying it with um, a really small zip tie. I put a zip tie through the bottom hole so that it couldn't drop down for the main. Um, I qualled fifth. I started fifth on the grid. Um, first lap was okay. I went around first lap and I think I, I think I ended first lap and third. And in the second lap, um, I don't know if I got any of it on, on the Aton from the aerial. Um, but on the second turn on the second lap, I judged it wrong. I pitched it a little too early and I got stuck on that pipe for what seemed like eternity. I dropped all the way down the uh, to 10th overall. And then from there on out, I just put my head down. I think if I recall correctly, I was running with a big pack of cars anyway. Um, managed to fight through them and end up back in third for the last, for the last half of the race, I was fighting for fourth and fifth kind of off and on. Um, I don't remember what, if anything in particular cost me fourth. It's not really important. Um, my go over goal overall at, at Shaw's was once I qualified in the top five was just to stay in the top five. I want to try to stay competitive with points, um, throughout the entire series. I want, I want to try to end up with a top five plaque of some kind through e buggy at Shaw's. Hopefully the, uh, the gang can stay together and we can do the same for 10, uh, 13, five buggy. Um, like I said, that was just a, Blast. 13.5 is fun. I'm having so much fun with 13.5. I'm glad I'm running it. Um, 
I don't know what you think about people who say 13.5 isn't fast. It, it's pretty fast. I'm running similar times within a second, within a few seconds of my e buggy at Indy in 13.5. So it's fast. It just looks slow. It's fast though. Um, that being said, as far as tires goes, I really only had one set for my baby buggy. I had some silver square armor, um, which turns out for 10 scale baby buggy square armor is basically a sweeper. So I think they're going to also be, I think they're also going to turn into my indie tire. I'll have to check them there. Um, oh, that reminds me. Hang on a second, guys. I got something else. I didn't even think about this before I started filming. Um, Jody Har showed me at Indy a couple weeks ago that he got a different wing. And it's like it's like an 8 scale wing, but for 10 scale, guys. This was 10 bucks off of Amazon. It's supposed to be a high downforce wing. Um, I don't really know if it's going to help. It probably will just hurt. Um, I'm going to put it on my buggy next time I, I can take my 10 scale to Indy. I'm going to run it there and see what it's like. Um, I like to do all my testing at Indy just because... I have the most experience there, and I, I have known factors and things like that. Um, yeah, but I'll put a link to this in Amazon in case you're running 13.5 and you want to try to give it a try. Um, it's just 10 bucks, And it's actually a lot more sturdy than the Lexan wing. And I can get it in black. So I can have yellow and blue, white wheels, black wing, kind of like my 8 scale buggy. So we're good on that. Um... But yeah, so I need to try the square armor and the 10 scale at ND just to see what it's like. Um, they were pretty dialed at, um, on the baby buggy. For 8th scale, what I ran at, at Shaw's, it started out kind of cold and kind of wet in the morning, so I ran yellow um, square armors there. Uh, the second qual, the temperature wasn't right, but conditions were right um, with the sun and everything. So I ran silver sweepers in that, and those were hooked. I was hauling in the second uh, the second qual with those. And then by the time the A-Main came around, it was night and it was cold again. So I switched back to the yellow silver arm, uh, sweep, um, <laughs> yellow square armor. Words are hard. Um, and those were hooked and dialed for the, um, for the main. I think I would have liked yellow sweepers. I don't have a set of those, but... Conditions were right for sweepers in the evening, too. So yellow sweepers would have been great if I could have had those. Um, but that's that. That's for this week. Uh, this weekend coming up, there's the round two of the Indy Icebreaker Series. I'm still not going to do any Tuesday racing this week. I will not be going racing tonight. Um, jury's out on going racing next Tuesday. I might go to action park not this coming sunday but the sunday after just to have a weekend race there and and do some filming there but hopefully i can get the grab grip soon fixed soon repaired or replaced and get back to getting those awesome nitro drive-by videos and things like that i still have some other things i can use but they're just not as cool as grab grip um i don't have any tech things to talk about other than the tires so if you guys have any questions just put them in the comments on the video let me know i'll i'll address them as i can um but again as always thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe share comment and let's get up to the 100 viewers or 100 subscribers so we can give away some tires thanks guys